All right, we'll start with the uh, with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, of the United States. States of America and to, and to the, the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. It's for all. Prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for each and every one who is here. We praise you for the countless ways you have blessed us. We place this meeting in your hands. May, be, may we be filled with the fullness of God. Amen. 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 Thank you. Mr. Rodriguez just stepped in. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, go to the workshop. Chairman and directors, the first item on the workshop is a review of the 2020 annual report for submission to the Texas Department of Transportation. This this um, this is the annual report um, to submit to TxDOT under the uh, Texas Administrative Code. Uh, in your packet, you'll have a, a summary, and it basically details the activity for the 365 Tollway project, um, the IBTC um, project, and any other uh, incidental projects that we're uh, we're working on. Um, and uh, again, it's just an annual report that we are required that all RMAs in the state of Texas are required to um, to report to the Texas Department of Transportation. We'll will uh, entertain any questions that you may have. I have no questions. Does anyone have any questions regarding the workshop? The report? No, no sir. Okay. Thank you, Bila. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and go uh, to pu any public comment. No, sir. We have nobody signed up for public comment. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to the reports. Sir, Navarro will give you a, a brief report on the 365 Tollway Project and the IBTC Environmental Claim. Good evening. Uh, I'm the chief construction engineer for the Hidalgo County Regional Mobility Authority, presenting you with a brief overview of the uh, current development status of the projects. Um, here we go again. Yeah, and um, for for sake's time, for time's sake, um, we are currently working on capturing on the 365 project. We are currently working on capturing the VECP components, which are the value engineering change proposals. If you all recall, we did have 18 valid proposals and we have captured six of the 18. We anticipate meeting early in December, well, next week uh, to convene in person and uh, finish out the details on all of these packets and formally uh, accept the uh, each of the the revised um, amendments. We anticipate a change order for next month uh, in in affiliation with these uh, these value engineering change concepts. Uh, in addition, we have uh, entertained over I believe it's 32 RFIs or requests for additional information and formally submitted 52. Uh, QCQA reviews for submittals, for materials, uh, procedures, et cetera. So we are diligently working on the project uh, and anticipate doubling production here, but I don't want to mix apples and oranges. I'll report to you all in a little while on the, uh, the construction aspect. As far as the wetland mitigation project, um, we continue with plans and uh, specifications on putting these together. And um, we are, we anticipate a spring of 2023 letting on this project as per the, we are currently letting or advertising the tow collection system installation project. We have had three to six bidders uh, interested or, or pursuing this project. We had 150 question and answers. We wrapped that up uh, early last week and anticipate a healthy bid on this project. This does open December 9th for bids. 
Aside from that, we, um, we are continue to push the IBTC project. Uh, we recently had been advised verbally that the environmental document had been approved. However, uh, we recently got uh, notified that uh, there was an amendment to the, uh, to the STIP or the State Transportation uh, Infrastructure Program. And uh, due to this, the uh, project would be delayed or the environmental document would be delayed uh, to the early part of 2023. Uh, we anticipate this to be a, a seamless method. And basically what it's doing is incorporating the $20 million of additional funding that was provided to us and uh, working out the, the financials with, the, with our partnering agency or the uh, MPO locally. Uh, we have gotten word that the federal federal agencies have accepted the uh, the proposed stip, and it is now unlocked. So we'll be able to push these um, these amendments and anticipate a February 2023 acceptance of of these uh, documents. We uh, still have not heard of any word on the mega grant project, but we continue to remain hopeful and um, anticipate some good news on that. Uh, this wraps up the current report uh, going on to the overweight network. Uh, we had a total of 34,816 permits for the year from January to October. And we've collected a total of $7,666,868 with the lion's share of that going to TxDOT with a, an overview of the month basically um, reporting 545 vehicles over what we did last year at this time. The overall yearly total, annual total for last year was 39,273. We look like we're gonna break close to that this year. If not, we shall exceed. Other than that, um, looking at the construction economics or the for the November report, it's ironic that these items come forth before us on the on these issues, and the uh, the RCP pipe is a um, a main item. It has increased over five percent, and uh, that was an item or a discussion item of discussion on the construction project here lately. Uh, other than that, that wraps up uh, the development aspect of the construction project. Any questions or concerns? I have none. Um, just a question on. Where are we with the project as far as um, on schedule? Are we on track? Yes, sir. Uh, that that's coming here on the next section on our on my segment B presentation. But uh, yes, sir, we are on schedule and on track. The uh, VCP concepts were to be captured at the end of this month, which is why we are pushing the uh, the December meeting to wrap up all the uh, the loose ends on those value engineering change proposals. Hey, Ramon, this is Forrest. Other than the value engineering, any other change orders that you guys are working on or that they've proposed? They have proposed uh, one that we have our GEC looking into, sir, and this was a, a structural lateral um, integrity of the floodway bridge structure. Um, they wanted, they need to shift from a 48 inch or from a 42 inch diameter drill shaft to a 48 inch. Uh, we are currently investigating and, and looking into that as far as the original engineer of records uh, design and whether there were concerns with that or if that was invoked due to the value engineering change in placing a, a bigger, larger, heavier girder onto the, uh, to the structure. That verdict should be reached and uh, accomplished uh, early next week. What's the proposed price delta on that? Uh, 160000 sir. Thanks. Any other questions I could entertain at this time? I'm good. Are there any, any questions by the board members? Okay. Moving on to the construction report. Okay. <laughs> next, next slide. Next, next presentation. Thank you. 
going into the construction, as you are well aware, we are constructing segment one and two of the 365 toll project. We are, uh, we released the project to Polis on March 17th, 2022. We are currently to date, uh, 251 dates, 251 days into the contract. Um, at the time of the report, we were 245 days into the contract. We have a, we have a present, we are presenting a approximately $4 million um, production uh, bid for this month or uh, estimate for this month. A majority of that is material on hand. Uh, approximately 3 million of that was material on hand, which is why you see the 16.5% production. This is incorporated into uh, PCI capturing the first, uh, first progress payment. Uh, but uh, they need to reach 20% before this is accomplished. Moving on to the, um, to the overall uh, production, we are currently at 17%, and at the time of the report, we were 18% on time. So it is going hand in hand, uh, coinciding with one another. We do anticipate production doubling up the first of next year. So uh, there is no major um, issues or concerns on the contractor's part. As far as production, uh, we continue as we continue to control uh, quality control, conduct uh, quality assessment tests and exams on all materials, concrete, embankment, uh, pipe, et cetera, that we are receiving in the field. Uh, as far as the environmental justices, we continue to prep right of way. We are working hand in hand. The uh, drainage district has commenced with the outfalls out in uh, outfall twos and two and three. Uh, this area is the area right behind um, where where road or MEDC. This was a uh, heavily wooded area over a drain ditch. And if you are a bird, uh, seeker, we've got some pretty majestic hawks out there. We probably got about three or four different classes of birds, and unfortunately, we've put up the unvac no vacancy sign for them. But uh, they should be moving along and 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 gathering themselves and accommodating themselves appropriately. Uh, as far as the um, the embankment material, we are continue placing embankment at I Road and Thomas, and we've commenced at the Anaya intersection. This material, we continue doing the underground work with the drainage pipe and uh, as far as the irrigation structures in preparation for um, embankment. We continue drill shafts in the floodway, working on the bends in the floodway, and we have erected the drill shafts at Highline. At the Highline structure, the uh, drill shafts have been completed. And we are now uh, placing wick drains. Uh, this is a new concept new to the area, well, not new to the area, but it's not uh, heavily used. It's basically stabbing uh, cotton cotton materials about 20 to 30 feet in depth into the embankment area or into the foundation to help accelerate the uh, settlement of the embankment once it's placed above it. There is a sand cap placed, a two foot sand cap for, this, uh, for these wicks to bleed onto and uh, the drainage runs off to the positive grade or the positive drainage and helps increase the uh, settlement of the embankment and reduces the, the wait time from uh, anywhere from six to eight months to a possible two months quoted into the, um, into the geotech report, but we will be monitoring that appropriately for, uh, for appropriate specifications. Other than that, we continue as noted with the wetland mitigation project, collecting samples, looking and recording of the rainfalls and the water, water table for for that uh, for that project. This concludes my report. Any questions or concerns I may entertain at this time? I have none. Any other board like member have any questions concerning the project? No, sir. Hearing none. I okay, like not. Uh, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Get a motion to approve the report. Some move. Some move. Motion second. second. All the favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Aye. Carries. Good. Chairman, the consent uh, agenda. Yes, sir. The next item on your is your consent agenda. All matters listed under the consent agenda are considered to be routine by the governing body and will be enacted by one motion. 
There will be no separate discussion of these items. However, if discussion is desired, that item or items will be removed from the consent agenda will be considered separately. Chairman directors, we ask that you uh, approve the consent agenda with the exception of item 2C. Um, we have not received, uh, we were not able to complete our financial reports. Uh, and so we'll be presenting the financial report for uh, October at the October and November at the December meeting. Hey, so Pilar, would, would you, Pilar, this is Forrest, would you expand a little bit on 2E for the board? I'm sorry, Director, can you repeat the question? 2E? Item 2E two, two under the consent agenda. Will you walk over that with the board, please? Oh, yes. Let me, let me walk over that. Yeah. Let me pull that up. Quickly. Yes, sir. So item 2E is uh, basically a clarification to the contract with Polis, uh, which outlines the payment schedule for drawdowns on the contract. Um, and so uh, part of the challenge that we're having with Polis as far as payments is receiving the, 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 um, the estimate, uh, allowing staff ample time to verify the quantities and then present it to the board of directors uh, for approval. And so this clarification will basically uh, amend into the contract that there's no additional cost, it's just uh, clarifying language that the, that the progress payments must be submitted by the 15th of every month to allow staff ample time to review and approve and then place on the board of directors agenda for uh, ultimate approval. Thanks. Are there any additional questions? If not, subject to item approval of financials for October of 2022, and I got a motion for approval of the consent agenda. So moved. So, motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Uh, let's go to item 3A, resolution 2022-60, approval and consideration of an interlocal agreement between the Hidalgo County Mobility Authority and the Texas Department of Transportation for inspection of a pre-certified concrete pipe, precast bridge, beams, and uh, related apprentices for the 365 tollway project. Chairman, directors, this is a contract that we've had in place with the Texas Department of Transportation since about approximately 2016. Uh, the contract was originally approved by the board of directors to allow for inspection of the precast bridge beams as part of the US 281 overpass project and the uh, BSIF connector. Um, so this, this contract has been in place for about six years. TxDOT has come back and basically um, has increased their, their overhead cost uh, on this contract. And so they've, they've, uh, requested an increase of approximately uh, a little over 4% uh, increase. And so that this, this, uh, this amendment or this contract uh, uh, takes the text out overhead um, and increases it by a, a, approximately 4.2%. Um, so what text dot does for us is the uh, manufacturers of the concrete pipe and the, uh, the, the bridge beams and inlet boxes and things, things of that nature text dot, uh, staff actually goes out to where they're manufactured, uh, provides the the uh, quality assurance uh, and inspection, and make sure they meet standard, and then signs off on us, and then we uh, take delivery of it. And what that does is it, it it doesn't require us to send our staff because most of these facilities are not here in the valley; they're uh, they're up in the central part of the state, um, especially the bridge beams. Um, and so TxDOT provides that service for us at a remote location in another part of the state. Staff recommends approval. Are there any questions? This was part of the original bid, Pilar. Uh, yes, sir. The, the, we had, we've had this contract in place with TxDOT since 2016, Chairman. And basically, they they've come back and said their cost to do business uh, has gone up a little over four percent, and so they're asking for an adjustment in their contract. And and basically, they go out and and provide inspection services for us for items that are are precast and not cast in the field. They're they're cast at a manufacturing facility. And of course, TxDOT has you know dozens of jobs across the state that they're already there inspecting 
uh, for their project. So they've they've agreed to do the inspection services for us. Okay, and Pilar, this is four percent of what Pilar of cost? Yeah, it, it's four percent of the whatever cost. Uh, th there's a schedule. If you look at the uh, the uh, contract, there's there's a um, there's an inspection and testing rate, and so those are those are what they charge the authority for the various types of tests, depending on whatever uh, whether it's a it's a beam or or whether it's a pipe or uh, some kind of precast um, um, appurtenance. Excuse me. And so they'll charge us uh, a little over four percent as their overhead cost to that that testing rate. Okay. Are there any additional questions? If not, can I get a motion to approve resolution twenty twenty two dash sixty? Move. I have a motion. Can I second. get a second? Motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 All same sign. Motion carries. Aye. Is there any additional business we need to entertain at this time? No, sir, Chairman. We have no further business for the board's consideration. Okay, I'd just like to take the time to wish everyone a, a wonderful Thanksgiving. That you and your families have a safe one, and, and I appreciate all that's been done so far. So, uh, with that, uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. So move. A motion, get a second. Second. Motion, second. second. Thank you, David. Same to you guys. Bye-bye.